hello hello everyone welcome back to the channel miss crochet and coffee here and today we are doing a little demonstration i don't know why i do these things just bear with me so i was contacted by a young lady and her name is going to pop up because i cannot pronounce it and i'm sorry but i can't and i don't want to butcher it but i know who you are and she messaged me and went, Miss Coffee, have you ever seen this tool? And I was like, no. And as she continued to talk, I ordered the tool and I was like, it's ordered. It'll be here. And as soon as it's here, I'll show a demonstration on the channel. She was shocked, one, because I ordered it. Like, like I said, I was ordering it as she was talking about it. So. If you find any cool, quirky little diamond painting tools that you would like demonstrated, send me a message. I'll buy it. Try it out on the channel. See if it's worth you spending your money on it. Again, let me waste my money before you waste yours, all right? Cool, cool. All right, so this is called the Sweep and Pick Up Drills Diamond Painting Drill Cleanup Tool. That's a lot. That's a whole mouthful, okay? Have you ever found a cool tool that you've been curious if it works? If you have, leave a comment below. Question of the video. All right, so here it is. It only took it a couple of days to get here because I got it off Etsy. Of course, I will have it linked in the description box below. I haven't opened it yet. I've had it for a couple of days and I was like, oh, okay. I couldn't remember what it was. And I was like, oh, okay, that's what it is. So it came in this bubble wrap and then it comes in plastic like this. It looks like a little makeup brush. So let's see. Oh, the back of it already came off. All right, all right, come. It's, I think it's squishy. It's Okay, we're just gonna, the craft savagery is real. That's a new thing, look it up. Oh, okay, so yeah, the, the back of it is like squishy and sticky. So I would have to say you're gonna wanna keep this somewhere where you're not gonna get like dust or debris on it, debris being debris. Oh, it picks up stuff. Okay, so what this tool is for, and this tool was only like seven bucks, okay? So what this is for is for us clumsy folks, okay? So you're diamond painting, you're having a good time, you're laughing and chuckling at my videos or in my live. Ha ha ha! Oh no, I spilled drills everywhere. All right, so this tool is supposed to help you, one, sweep them back into place. You gotta use your little makeup brush here. You sweep them back into place, y'all yeah, I mean. So you sweep them up, and then you take the butt end of it, and you pick them up. Oh! <gasps> Look at that. Get down in the business. You got to see this. So it picks them up. And then you can just put them back in your container. And it doesn't stick to them like hard. So you don't have to like really pick at them. You just kind of knock them off. Without getting that. Now the plastic thing won't. Or the squishy thing won't. Doesn't want to seem to stay in there when you're picking it off. But that easily goes back inside of there. And you just pick them up and then you just brush it off. That is really cool. Now it does get annoying because that back part does come off. So you can like super glue that in there, I guess. But that is probably like one of the coolest pickup tools I've ever seen. Now I wouldn't suggest using this on your carpet. Because if you're like me and have two heavily shedding dogs, the last thing you want to do is use that on your carpet. But to use it on your table or to get drills off your canvas, I'd say yeah. Again, I would probably glue that in there so that it won't come out. And then to clean it, I would just take like a warm cloth and just like wipe over it. Not a napkin because the fuzzies will get on it. I would take like a dishcloth or something and wipe over it or just rinse it off and it should regain its tackiness. Like it's, it's not tacky like a canvas, it has like a, like a squishy toy type gumminess to it. So yeah, like, so if you're just taking it across your container, that is really cool. What do you guys think? Do you think this is something that would be useful to you? If so, it is linked down in the description box of this video. But I wanted to get a video out for her because she was curious about this tool. 
And obviously, if you spill drills, it's not going to be on the front of your canvas. And if it's on this tacky part, then yeah, no, you're probably not going to have the same result in picking it up. But if it's like on your table, like if you spill drills on your table or if you have hardwood floors, this might not be a bad suggestion for you. And again, if you get like dog fur or something on it, you can easily, uh, yeah, see, I'm dropping them on the table now. So we're going to put them on the table. And then we're just going to brush them together. Just don't fling them, apparently, like I just did. So you just kind of brush them together. And then, bam! Put them in the tray. And it's squishy, so you can press down pretty hard with it. Because at this point, you're probably upset that you spilled the drills in the first place. So, I would definitely say that if this is something that you think you could get use out of, I would say get it. It's a cool little novelty thing. Um, obviously, you don't need anything like this to pick up your drills. You can always, you know, just pick them up by hand or with a spoon or something. But that actually is a quite nifty tool to have. Again, it was only 7 bucks on... Uh, Etsy, I will link it. So there you have it. New little diamond painting tool that we found over on Etsy thanks to, and again, her name is going to pop up because I can't pronounce it. So thank you so much for watching. If you like this short little video on how to use this tool and you have a cool tool idea, you can shoot me a message if you have a cool tool idea that you would like me to try out. If you like this tool, please give the video a thumbs up. If it's something you would use, write that down in the comments. I don't know. So yeah, that's it for me, folks. Very short video. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please put them down in the comment section below. But if that's it, that's it for me. So thank you so much for watching. And as always, please try to remember, if you're not already a subscriber, you can always hit that subscribe button and the bell to be notified anytime I randomly decide to put up a video. And believe me, it's random. With that said, I'm going to bid you adieu. But I'm going to do like I always do, and remind you, be kind, be courteous, be cool. Bye, guys.